suggesting 44,000 for the two constituencies. No, we're, we're not getting into
or are they people who were registered before the Music Living? Uh, regrettably, uh, approximately 50% of them were duplicate uh, applications, people who were already on the register who found the app and went online and resulted in a duplicate application. But uh, there are some 3,500 new directors as a result of the online system. Explain what you mean before you kick off the food. That's, that's the problem. So you're, you're, you're starting from a point where you know, and the people in this committee all know what you're talking about. Most of us on this side aren't really sure of what you're talking about. So when you start using certain things, you must explain a little bit at the beginning of it what, you're, what this register is, how, where it's going to, and what's this, why 2016, what does that come into it? All you have to do is explain a little bit more a little bit more clearly at the beginning of your statements so we can understand. And that goes for some more of it on here. I'm reading this at the same time. Well, I'm trying to I understand what you're trying to get to. Well, I, 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 I genuinely think you're probably the only person who doesn't understand it because it, it, it arises from a previous meeting where there was a discussion about the electoral register and the moves the council was taken to try and make sure it was as up to date and as representative as possible. And that's what we, we asked for, we had a report back on that. Um, but back to your point, you, you said there were, in response to it, there were 3,000 additional me. votes you contributed. You just ignored me, Frank. I've asked the man a question, why are you, why are you going out your way to ignore me? I, I, I thought I was actually giving you the answer. I've put only missed one meeting in this. This and I've got the minutes of it now, yeah. the last one. This is, this is an item about the electoral um, registration. Um, and we actually asked about the process the council is undertaking to keep the electoral register, the basis on which we can have our votes, up to date. I thought everybody actually understood that, by the way. So I, um, that was the item on the agenda. We, we had the council officers come along here and explain the activities they were undertaking. We had a, a reply to Mark Johnson's question, which was about what people who don't re-register will be left on. Um, that clearly answered the question, which gave us information that there was going to be a new tranche of additional number of voters coming in as a result of these activities. Um, I'm slightly puzzled why you don't understand that. I do now. You just explained it very nicely to me. <laughs> well, let's, any more questions on this item? We, we've got the the issues about the budget changes coming up, and you, you sent in a huge number of questions, which we've covered many of those as well. Well, well we wanted to cover the answers uh, to well, your questions. Um, but, but on Pat Cleary's point, are you, are you saying that the activities already will result in an additional 3,000 registration? <coughs> Uh, no chair, I can't go quite that far since uh, some of the online applications that we were talking about are people who've moved house so that they were on the register and have re-registered as their new address using the online mechanism. So it's unclear exactly how many are new electors, but we really hope that some of them are new electors who've been attracted by the online application facility for the first time. So the answer to Pat was... 3,000 gross additions, but we don't know what the net effect is, but some of them may have actually still be registered at their old address. Well, they would have gone from their old address, uh, part of the process would involve removing them from their old address to their new address, but it's not possible to say how many brand new electors are comprised in the figure because of the, uh, the number of house movers that might be involved. Very good. Any other questions on that item?
that's what they want now. Everybody with national insurance will say, well, you're not entitled to those. That's new chair. Chair, if I may, um, I think that the My guess is that's enough of you really want to refuse. <laughs> no, no, I've got the, I'll just go online, it's just easy. No, um, it's just easy, to, they need to just explain to me this, all about national insurance numbers. That's not known to me. <laughs> it, is, it is actually a move to tighten up and make it more difficult for people to vote. I leave it to you to draw your conclusions on why, why, a, government, why a government might be actually undertaking those, those moves. If, with your permission, I will then move on. One of the reasons why we've got such a good representation here tonight, we've got a number of young people who've been participating in the activities of community researchers, which you approved at a previous meeting. And I just wonder whether they'd like to come to the front and just tell us something about the activities they've been undertaking on your behalf. Thank you. 
There has been talk earlier in the evening about the inadequacy of the preparation of young people for the time when they will have to run their own establishments and bring up their own children, and how bad it is if they themselves, as children, did not have the model of a caring household. What I would ask, like to hear from the girls is whether their schooling did much to prepare them for taking on these responsibilities in due course. In other words, is domestic science, household management, a thing of the past? So their schools and their families are rather proud of their being With the NCS programme, we got a qualification in um, basic food hygiene um, and first aid. In school, it's a choice, but not many people choose. So it's not an essential skill yeah. in the view of school management. Not no, uh, no, it's the view of the government. It, wasn't in my day, I mean, it could be made uh, a key part in uh, what's called PHSE, personal social health. Um, but with the pressure on schools to achieve a good GCSE result, these other very important topics are pushed down the agenda.
what I've got to tell you about these children or young adults, should I call them young adults, is they raise the money themselves. They do large charity bank accounts, they go out in car washes, they do they even went out collecting clothes for the homeless and people were coming to the centre and going away with winter coats and winter jumpers because even I have my eyes open how many people actually sleep outside in their net, which is really quite scary. And they went out with me, I took them out, a couple of them out in the car and we went out driving around and we actually found people who were living behind uh, bins and we fed them. And they cooked the food themselves, they're very good cooks and make mean kind of scouts, so <laughs> yeah, so I, I've got a lot of respect for these, these young people and I think it's, I think they've learnt a lot by doing what we've done and they have a big celebration day with me which thanks my attendance and they all, you know, they have, listening to some of the stories behind them made me realise why they wanted to do it and, you know, loads of respect. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Now we're going to go to future councils. David, are you going to introduce the panel? I'm trying without the microphone. Then. This is where the budget Where is the back if you can't hear me? Um, this is page 47 in the papers for tonight. Um, these are the chief executive's budget proposals for next financial year. So that's the first point to make. These are not um, office, these are not member proposals. They've been put forward by the chief executive and the officers, including myself, um, and they are for discussion. And the members have yet to take a decision on them. They're part of trying to plan for next year's budget, where we have to reduce by about a further 27 million pounds. Nine million of that is already accounted for in decisions the council's already made leaves about 18 million pounds and we think we can deal with most of that through uh, in-house work sadly reducing the